Hi, it's Fabio here. Uh, today I want to show you something a little bit different and here it is. This is a Targa or to be specific, uh, to be specific a, a Targhetta, so a small Targa. This example is made by Maleus Martialis, a new little company uh, founded uh, one or two years ago here in Italy. They are uh, new but they are really really professional, really good. Uh, I really recommend them and um, uh, they uh, right now are uh, in a stage of uh, prototyping uh, swords uh, and also side sword and I will have the privilege to try and test one of their prototype of side swords so I will uh, tell you how, how they perform but from what I've seen uh, uh, a few days ago they are uh, they seem to be really really good uh, so uh, the targa what is what is a targa uh, basically targa is a a buckler uh, a buckler with uh, uh, different shapes uh, it's typical of italy uh, a lot of uh, masters and treatises talk about the use of the sword with the targa uh, basically all the bolognese school so Marozzo, Manciolino, Anonimo Bolognese, um, yes, <laughs> okay, they, they are all, uh, and also Florentine, and uh, also Florentine like Altoni, or uh, um, Docciolini, uh, Lovino, talk about uh, this, uh, this kind of, of buckler, and also in the, in the 17th century, we have, for example, in the second book of Nicoletto Giganti, uh, we, we find it in um, uh, Body di Manzo, uh, and so on. So, just like the buckler is uh, um, a defensive weapon, which is uh, which spread in, uh, in time, because it's, uh, it's really effective. And uh, so, what is the difference uh, with the buckler? If I grab a buckler, okay. As you can see, uh, of course, the shape is, is different, um, and the shapes dictates the, um, the use, how you use the, the targa uh, uh, in respect to the, to the buckler. So the buckler, uh, it's uh, good to pairing blows, but uh, essentially it's better at covering, at covering your hand, because it's flat. Okay, so you can really keep it uh, near your um, your uh, sword hand, and if you don't have a particularly complex tilted sword, you can really put it uh, just to to beat the, the guard of your sword. So you can pass the the sword really really close to the to the buckler. Also, having the uh, the the side completely circular, they basically follow the, the, the cuts because they have not, uh, they are, they are not um, spikes or, uh, or anything like that that could stop your, your own sword. So the, uh, and also another difference is that uh, the hand usually it's, uh, it's held inside the boss of the buckler, so uh, this also keeps it very very flat and near your, uh, your hand. The, the targa on the other side has flat, uh, flat sides and uh, also it, is, uh, this, it has these uh, convex uh, shapes that helps in uh, stopping the, the blade, uh, the, the enemy blade, because uh, when, when a cut arrives at you, if you put the, the target like, like this, as you can see, it's almost like having your sword put in here, and so the, the, the blade will just stop right here. So it's extremely good in pairing cuts. And also having this uh, complex uh, shape, it can really stop the blade 
from uh, from slide into you. Uh, also, another uh, another thing that is important is that having the flat flat sides, you can really use it almost like a, a dagger. So if a point comes at you here, you can just grab it and push it aside, uh, just as you would do with a with a with a dagger. But you can you cannot do this with a with a circular buckler because, as you can see, the point will just slide. Of course, yeah, with a sharp uh, sharp sword, you will catch it in some uh, in some way. But as you can see, it's really really easy for the the point or the the enemy sword to to just circle around the the, the buckler, and so it's very easy to to just uh, uh, disengage under around the buckler and so uh, maybe this could be one of the reasons that the buckler uh, in particularly in, uh, in the renaissance um, at one time uh, it being stopped to being used whereas the the targa seems to be uh, more popular in, uh, in the duels. Uh, if you see Marozzo, for example, uh, it gives you uh, both uh, sword and buckler and sword and targa um, techniques. But uh, whereas uh, the sword and buckler seems to be more with the plain sword, so uh, unsharpened sword, blunted sword, the the assaults for the for the targa are usually with the sharp sword, so I think that uh, this is a better design with the with sharp sword and in general with sword that uh, uh, that have a um, much more uh, point uh, use. Uh, so this is extremely good in covering you. And uh, it's good also in uh, in creating and closing lines because having, uh, as I said, the, the flat side and the spikes and, and so on, it can really cover and uncover your lines uh, just by just by moving it. Uh, another yes, uh, I should say that original one can be made in. Um, uh, various uh, sizes and uh, materials. So in this case, it's uh, it's steel, and steel one has uh, usually uh, ridges and uh, also uh, hooks that you can use uh, both to to carry it uh, around your belt, but also to catch and uh, to to catch the the enemy blades basically, and uh, the ridges. Uh, both uh, they, they can be used to, to stop the point from sliding from your from your uh, from your shield. Uh, just like buckler, we, uh, we can find it with ridges, spikes, uh, and so on. So here you go. Uh, that was the video. I hope you like it. Please uh, share the the channel and subscribe it. Bye.